Welcome back. We're going to continue playing some 10 minute shogi on Shogi Wars, um, as we'd usually do. I've been trying to play different strategies each game. Uh, today I'm not super creative for whatever reason. Perhaps I'm distracted, but we'll see how well I can play. Um, on the other hand, at least this time I'm remembering to do my overlay properly, so. Hooray for that. Um, maybe we try, I don't know, opposing rook or fourth file rook or something. I am curious what I do want to try. Good luck. Ooh, we've got an Urashino style opponent. I wonder how this will play out. Yeah, like, how does this go, right? If we both play the same style, where do we end up? I don't know. Um, now this silver move is a bit unique, is it not? <laughs> yeah, we're both on a bit of a rush here. Um, I'm sure I'm stepping into the middle of some deep preparation, but it's probably fine. Okay, that is very surprising move here. Um, hmm. Let's just get the king out of here. What? If you're going to play Urashino's strategy, why would you put the rook here? I am so confused by everything that just transpired. Um, interesting. Okay, we'll bring the gold up here to like not lose all of our pawns, maybe. Um. Apparently, if our opponent's taking the center, uh, I was going to put the bishop on the edge here. And then I realized that's not so smart. But, like, what am I supposed to do here? This is so bizarre. Okay, let's complete half me no castle. And then I guess put this back. I don't understand what's uh, ongoing. Um, how bad could this be? What's going on in this position? Heck if I know. My opponent has a pawn in hand, which potentially could maybe be an issue. Um, and this is so curious. Alright, so they bring their silver up, supported by their bishop, except not really. Um, hmm. Well, my bishop ain't doing nothing here. Let's try to make use of our bishop. And our knight. Yeah, because this silver blocks their bishop, I did really thought that they would think twice before trying this. Because um, now I can take a silver and they can promote, and it's kind of double-edged. But not that double-edged. Um... So we run away... 
And next I take the other silver and checkmate the king or something. Um... Nanafun. Yeah, yeah, Nanafun something you too. Uh, I'm so confused. All right, we're going to go for it. Got my curiosity. You have my curiosity, so we are going for it. Mm -hmm. I can't place another pawn on the center file. When am I ever going to remember that rule? Um, that's a bit inconvenient. Sure would have been nice to remember that rule. Well, I am in trouble. Um... Oh, allowing their bishop to retreat puts me in even more trouble. Right, whatever. Let's attack this way. This traps my silver, doesn't it? They didn't want my silver. Okay. I have two silvers in hand. Um. Guess we just place them all. And hope that something positive occurs. Go for me. Uh -huh. I am so perplexed. Oh, this was their idea. All right, that's an original idea. I'll give you that. What's the deal now? Are you saying my king's unsafe? Because it really sounds like that's what you're trying to say here. Um. They have a tremendous edge on the clock. I'm just not sure that their position on the board allows the clock to dominate like this. Um. Okay, yes, I'll take a, another attacking piece. Sure. You only have to ask me twice. Let's just keep piling up on this pawn here.
I didn't think we'd go here. We're here now. It's pretty scary. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, they have a lot of attacking pieces, but something doesn't look right. Something don't look right. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm attacking their gold. Obviously they don't want to take my silver, but... Um, somehow it looks like magically my king has survived. Uh, but yeah, I want to drop all of my pieces and smash their back row. Um, and I should not have time to do such a thing, but somehow I'm finding tempo after tempo after tempo here to just keep running away from their attacks. Um, it's bizarre. Right. Something. Oh, that's clever. I don't have a lot of options here. That's less... well, I mean, it works, but it's not that clever. Um, puzzled why they do that. Doesn't matter what I play. Um, I mean, I guess we play this. But I'm, like, super mated. I'm being stubborn for no good reason. Thanks for the game. Yeah, my rook drop was very ill-advised. Um, let's play another game. Sure. My whole strategy was pretty ill-advised, but the rook drop in particular was not called for. Um, I could have defended better. Good luck. I got very tilted that game because my opponent had been playing very quickly throughout the entire game. Um, so perhaps this time I can find... Oh, goodness. Well... Gosh, this would not be a good minute to panic now, would it? I um, guess we're going to play 4th Falrook. And how the hell do I play this again? This is not great. I forget if I'm supposed to move the king or the silver. And it makes a difference. So let's figure this out. Wait, this is, um, I think this is okay. If not, we'll know very shortly. But I think there's some move I could make there that's catastrophic, and I think I avoided it. Um... I am so confused. This is not good. Let's 
push this edge pawn. What I'm confused about is bishop 5-5 five five in combination with this pawn thrust. And whether or not there's some unfortunate timing that just completely blasts the position apart. Um, I don't think there is. I think I'm okay. Yeah, no, I thought like here I'm supposed to do like silver up or something. I don't remember. This is like Crab Castle? It's not the Mino we're all... Oh my god. Wow. Okay, oh, our position transformed quite a lot in that one move. Um, I was not trying to trap my opponent, but um, this is quite peculiar. Okay. Have I missed something? This does not look as if I have missed something. Yeah, no, I think we both got very confused in this opening. Um... I need to look this one up so I don't make the same blunder again. All right, so my knight is attacked. Is my bishop in danger here? I don't know. Um. Nana Fun. This is confusing. If I take the knight, they take my pawn with check, so I have to take here first. Even though this exposes my king. So I'm not happy about my king being exposed, especially with their bishop on the loose. Um, but I think it's okay. Oh, my king is so extremely exposed here. It's not funny. Um... try to get my bishop on an open diagonal as well as try to close down many bishop drop squares I mean there are other squares that the bishop could drop and could hit my rook here but um, that's not the end of the world although I did allow this bishop drop and promotion retreat by exposing my own bishop to this lance uh, I guess I'm more scared of a bishop than I am of a rook. But maybe that's irrational. Oh, on the other hand, this does bear some threats with the rook now, doesn't it? Um, I didn't even think about it that way. But yeah, exposing my bishop does have some pause or some advantages. I mean, the most obvious is that I'm threatening to take the lance, and 
then eventually retreat and maybe be able to play a normal game at some point. But yeah, the knight-silver-bishop combo is pretty terrifying. So if knight checks, I guess my king pursues the knight. Unless somehow this puts my king in some tremendous danger. I have difficulty assessing that. Yeah, it's a complicated position. Also, they could put the knight over here. I don't like this. This is tricky. I should have played some defensive move trying to shut off some of these knight checks. I did consider rook drop here and thought my rook would be too exposed. Um, I considered a king retreating move and then just thought that seemed futile. But maybe I shouldn't have given up hope so quickly. Because this is not... Now I have to deal with the consequences of what I just wrought. So... Uh, my instinct is to go chase the knight. Wait, doesn't that get me mated? If my king goes up, bishop drop. If I take the knight... Uh, silver, silver... I don't see a mate. Oh, okay, so they could silver fork my rook and king. My king is not long for this world here. But hey, he lived adventurously. It's something to be proud of. Um. Hmm. Man, this Go is for it. so brutal. <laughs> okay, what? Do, okay, so I was just. I could take that. It seems crazy taking it. But retreating also seems dangerous. Yeah, let's just take this. How bad could that be? Right, and then we promote over here. I mean, yeah, clearly my king is not going to make it into the corner. But, um, I don't think they have a checkmate. I think they needed to do something more patient, like promoting their bishop behind my king. Um. Hmm. It's not super obvious how uh, go to attacks here. But I thought they had to like drop a bishop, promote it somehow, and try to trap my king um that's ambitious okay what Is this what they really had intended to do? I mean, yes, they do get a promoted rook. Um,
<laughs> this looks fun. We'll take the space that their lance could have used, and let's use it ourselves. And give them another lance, just to make it fair. Right, and here... I thought my king actually does promote. Or escape. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of heavy pieces in the area, but I think my king's fine. Threatening a rook drop and then rook takes silver. I don't see how they can stop that. So there's the rook drop. Okay, that's check. Um, oh, that's checkmate. Oh, well, nicely done. Thanks for the game. Oh, let's play another game. We're on a roll today. Uh, we are twice caught by... Good luck. We are twice caught by surprise. Uh, let's go back to playing Static Rook. This is going to go great. Alright, and then offer a bishop exchange. Have that offer declined, and I don't remember what to do next. Um, hmm. This is playable, right? Okay, what's that? Yeah, I am confused, but I think I'm okay. This is possibly not the right move order for the Agra castle. Oh, all right. Well, we can't have that now, can't? Oh, okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> We have some interesting openings afoot today. Um, oh, can't do that. Good God, what have I done? This is not good. This is double plus ungood. All right, how do we get out of this? Because, like, bringing the rook over does not help in the slightest. Um, yeah, we need this gold up here now. There we go. And maybe we survive, if we're lucky. Okay, I don't know what this gold bishop gold thing is, but it's special. Okay, what? So let's play the king over and pretend that this is a normal game. And we'll have to use a lot of imagination because this game is not at all normal. But that's okay. Yeah, this is incredible, honestly. 
Um, can't believe I'm bringing my gold up this way to deal with the threat. Something has gone very strange, or at least in a way that I'm not familiar with, with this opening. Alright. Because, like, what's the big idea now? Okay, I could obviously if I bring up the silver, I'm inviting an attack. Um which might be okay for all I know. Gold takes pawn takes, they promote that looks pretty her uh bad. So let's go back. And yeah, they're trying to join the the attack with another piece, because they didn't bring enough pieces to this attack. Um, and we just say no. And I'm confused what's going on. If the bishop moves, I can push my static rook pawn, but bishop's not moving. What the hell? This is so bizarre. Okay, we'll get the pawn back in hand. Maybe I do invite the attack, because I can't just do this forever. Oh, I saw my video of translating a chess game into Latin. Yeah, that was fun. It's a good creative challenge. Okay. Well, I am asking for a fight here, aren't I? Why did I pick this fight? Oh uh, yeah, incidentally, like only 20% of that website was ever translated into Latin. And since nobody was using the Latin translation and nobody was maintaining it, I think it was just done away with for ease of code maintenance. That was a good creative challenge while it lasted. Uh, so... Yeah, if this rook moves away, I can... I can attack, but... Um, hmm. This is so bizarre. Oh. Or even if the rook doesn't move away, I could still consider attacking. It's just dangerous. Um. Let's push this, because my king's going to need it someday. position is so messed up. We're doing something original here and bringing the knight out. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I 
I mean, to me, it looks like the silver's not going very far. But I've almost certainly <laughs> overlooked something critical. Go so, Um, But what? What have I missed? Screw it. Let's do this. Can't defend forever. I think I missed Silver Drop here. I think they also missed it. And this actually gives me a chance to start my attack. Maybe I needed to push a pawn here. Gosh, I've got myself in a world of trouble here. Um. Hmm. All right, so this is what I've been planning on doing. It's insane, but that's the plan. And I'm not deviating from it now. Let me push this. And hopefully it works. This, there is no plan B. Um... Alright, now what was the plan? Is it gold drop, then silver drop? Because that doesn't look so bad. Free rook? Not really, but um, hmm. I still don't get like what this is. Ah, <sighs> what am I doing? other than playing extremely aggressively for no reason. Something. Oh, where's the mate? They only have a gold. Nifun Sanjibio. I wasn't using this work anyway.
Wow. That is heavy. I'm <laughs> giving up both of my rooks. In chess, this would be a dramatic thing. In shogi, it's just a thing you do. I suppose giving it up for a tempo is kind of ridiculous, where I could have just taken the gold. Um. I think we both misplayed this pretty terribly. I need to think about my moves before playing them. Otherwise I'll find myself without any pieces. Yeah, no, I've overpressed. It's almost hubris just how badly I've overpressed here. Um, there is no metaphor for just this kind of overpressing. Thankfully, I seem to be getting away with it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Hmm. Mm. I counted my chickens too early. But I was in time pressure, so I have an excuse. Aren't excuses delightful? Oh. Nicely played. All right, well, we're on a roll tonight. <laughs> yeah, unless you've read Seer One's Take My Rooks. All right, thanks for the game. Nicely played. All right, well, that was an adventure. So, somewhere between me not knowing the opening, not understanding the middle game, and misreading the end game repeatedly, somewhere in all of that, something didn't quite go right. Um, can't imagine what, but you know, we'll just do our best. Yeah, so that's our three games for today, and thank goodness there's always tomorrow. Hope everybody enjoyed this little session we had here.